How's it going everyone? So, can't you receive any messages and keep getting this? Unable to send messages, message blocking is active. So, if you have this error, well, it happens when your carrier has blocked your ability to receive or send messages on your iPhone. So, there are a few adjustments that you need to solve the problem. The first that you have to do, you gotta head over to settings on iPhone, then you have to scroll down and tap application. Uh, and then you have to just tap search and type a phone application. All right, so open this up here. And now you have to scroll down and tap on block contact. So if you blocked anyone on your iPhone or the person that you're trying to get to receive, I mean, try to receive the messages, if the person is blocked, then you might get the problem. So make sure to unlock the person and try again. Let's say you've just unlocked it or maybe you haven't even blocked him but still have the same problem. Then you gotta head over to your message here and then you have to select the person. Tap on the profile picture and here make sure you're actually enabling this show in uh, share with you. And then you have to select this option called info. Please double check their uh, phone number and the mail. It should be correct. Sometimes if the phone number gets in the current from the contact, you might get the same problem. The next things that you have to be careful with, which is called the premium access for message. So you gotta head over to settings and this time you gotta scroll down to apps. Now simply find out your message application here, open that up and now you actually need to scroll down and make sure to enable the same as takes messages. If this is enabled, disable it and turn it back on. At the very same time, you want to go back to your settings again and tap Apple ID and then you have to tap iCloud and then tap see all and select now tap message in iCloud if you see this also is enabled then you have to disable it wait for some time and then turn it back on all right so after that just go ahead and see your problems now most likely your problem is going to be solved however if you still see you have the same problem then the next thing that you can do you can open up your settings scroll down to general and here, first, you have to take a look at your software update. If you found there's a new software update, update it. However, if there's no software update available, go back here. First, take a look at your date and time. Your date and time should be corrected and your set automatically should be enabled on iPhone. And lastly, go back here, scroll down, and now go and take a look at your problem. If you still have a problem, lastly, you gotta select transfer and reset iPhone, tap reset and select reset all settings, and simply enter your password, and after that, just try to get a reset all settings on your iPhone, and water to solve that problem. Now, after following all of the problem, still, if you guys have any more questions to ask, please let me know in the comment section. See you guys around.